Okay, I'm going to start with number five on the review sheet. I did this one in class. Actually, I did all these in class, but uh, for those of you that were gone or just wanted another explanation. So number five says, find the probability of answering the two multiple choice questions correctly if random guesses are made. So you got two questions. So remember in class, I would just go ahead and set up my two fraction lines because that's what you're going to need. And you have two of them, the probability of getting them both correct. That is an and probability. That means you want the first one correct and the second one correct. And in and probabilities, you multiply. That's something we learned for chapter three. So you find the probability for each question. Um, it says there's five answer choices for each multiple choice question. That means you got five answers to choose from for each. Only one of those answers is correct for the first one and the second one. So now to calculate the probability that they're both correct, multiply those two fractions. One times one is one. Five times five is 25. Make sure you multiply straight across. You're going to do that in your calculator. One divided by 25, you're going to get 0 0.04. And that's your final answer. Now for number six. Number six is a little bit tricky. In fact, number six is probably the trickiest one on the uh, review sheet. And the key to number six, I had you guys write this in your notes. In fact, I think I did something goofy like told you to, I don't know, circle it and put stars or something around it or maybe rainbows. Um, anyway, so this one, the probability it will rain every day is 40%. So that's every day for three days. That's your chance of rain each day. What is the probability it will rain at least one of the three days. So that's what we want the probability of. What I wanted you to put in your notes way back when, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, is this right here. The opposite of at least one, the opposite of at least one is none because those are the only two things. You're either going to be, you're either going to have at least one rainy day or no rainy days. So these two are complements. And what we said we can do if we have two things that are complements uh, is that you can, if you know one of them, you can subtract that answer from one. So I'm going to calculate the probability that it rains on none of those days, and then I'm going to subtract that from one. And that's going to give me the probability it rains on at least one of the days. Okay, let's see if I could do this right. Sweet. All right, well, it's going to get funky. You're just going to have to deal. We'll see if I can fix that later. Maybe I can move this up. Okay. All right. So, the probability it rains on none of the days. So, remember, you have three days. One, two, three. And if it's a 40% chance of rain... So remember, that's up here, 40% chance of rain each day. The probability it does not rain is 60% for every day. So 60% day one, 60% day two, 60% day three. And the probability that all three of those happens, that's an and probability. So you got to multiply those three together. 0 0.6 times 0.6 times 0.6 is 0.216. Hold on. All right, so that equals 0.216. You want the complement, 0.216. That's the probability, remember, of no rain on day one, no rain day two, no rain day three. So that's no rain, none. Now you want the complement of that to get the probability of at least 1. So 1 minus 0.216 is 0.784. That's your final answer there. You do have another option. You have one more option for doing that one in that you can do as a binomial. Technically, that's a binomial problem. Okay, so you could have done this. The probability of at least... One, you could have gone binom, CDF. Uh, yeah, there were three days total. Probability of rain is 0 
Uh, and you want the probability of at least one, so that means one or more, right? The complement of that, so there's your little barricade, zero. And remember we talked about this, you're going to have your calculator do the opposite. So we're going to put no rain. Close up shop. Do that in your calculator, okay? So binome CDF in your calculator, you hit the second FARS and then scroll down to binomial CDF, 3 comma 0.4 comma 0. That gives you 0.216, and then you take the complement. That's not the preferred method. I mean, you can use that. It works. Uh, really what I want you to do is this is why I had you start way back when. The complement of at least one is none. I would rather you do the problem like this. Find the probability of no rain on each of those days, none, 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 and then take the complement of that. But you could have done it like a, like a CDF.